What's going on, America? It's your boy Jay Hanover, and welcome to my Survivor Series 2001 review. Now, we're starting off the show with the European Championships Christian versus Al Snow. Now, Christian wins the match with the Aim Pretty. I gave him just three and a half stars. One, because of the back and forth action. Two, because of the near falls. And three, because it was a good match. Decent. What I can say. So three and a half stars for that. Next we got William Regal versus Jerry. Regal wins with the Tiger Ball. I gave these three stars. You know what's kind of funny? Regal. Regal's nose is always bleeding. I find that kind of funny. It's hilarious. His nose is always bleeding and. He always got that ugly ass face whenever he uh <laughs> whenever he loses a match and just bumps up the ramp. I mean he looks upset, he looks disappointed, but the face he makes is just hilarious, so for real. For real. He won with the tiger bomb, then he left out of the ring, got back in the ring, gets to Jerry with the second tiger bomb. Tori Wilson comes out, checks up on I mean, checks on to Jerry and then Riggle gets back in the ring. Hits Tori's ass with the Tiger Bomb. And then gets back out of the ramp and goes backstage. He looks proud of himself. After that, you got the WWF and the championship unification. It's the first championship unification of the night. You got the WWF IC Championship slash WCW US Championship. Tess was the IC Champion and Edge was the US Champion. Now, this came about. Well, Tess won the IC Championship from Edge. After he won the IC Championship, I think before he won the IC Championship from Edge. Actually, no, 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 no. I think it was after. I don't know. Yeah. Tess beat Edge for the IC Championship. And then Edge had a hardcore championship with RVD. Tess cost him the match. So RVD is still the hardcore champion. Then Edge won the, the WCW US Championship, I think the week after, maybe a couple weeks after that. And then, yeah, they decided to have a unification match. Tess is the IC champion. Edge is the WCW US champ. And, uh, yeah. Edge wins the match via roll up. I gave this three and a half stars. I ain't really give a shit about the roll up. I just like this match. Uh, after that, oh yeah, three and a half stars. After this, you got the second championship unification match. This time it's a steel cage and it's a tag team championship match. It's the WWF slash WCW tag team championships championship. The Hardys versus the Dudleys. The Hardys are the WWF tag champions. The Dudleys are the WCW tag team tag champions. The Dudleys win this match. I gave this three and three quarter stars. Now here's the only nitpick about this match. Um, Matt Hardy tries best to escape the cage, and then he finally escaped the cage and left Jeff for dead. You know, and basically left Jeff in a handicap situation. You know, it's just Jeff versus Bubba Ray and Devon. But Jeff tried his best to prevail and beat the shit out of. Out of Bubba Ray and beat the shit out of Devon. Um, before all of this happened, um, Bubba Ray told Stacy to get the table and the ref, you know, Nick Patrick's up, which I was, ah, fuck. Nick Patrick was outside the ring. I forgot that the ref was in the ring, but Nick Patrick was outside the ring. He was a WCW ref at the time. Um, Stacy seduced Nick Patrick. And got the key out of his back pocket and unlocked the cage door and put the table in the ring. And gave the key back to the ref. And gave the, de- no, the key back to Nick Patrick. And the Dudley set up the table and uh, yeah, Matt escaped. Jeff tried to prevail and beat the shit out of both of them. And then puts Devon on the table, climbs to the top of the cage and hits the swan off the ta- off the ta- uh, off the cage through the table. Only put himself to the table. Because Devon moved out of the way. Now, 
also the House of the Tag Team Steel Cage match and well a tag team steel cage match should be in Well if if somebody's gonna Somebody's gonna escape the cage. One man from one team should escape the cage while the other one is escaping the cage. That leaves it to be one on one. One team member versus another team member. You know, one member from one team versus the other member of the other team. That's basically what I'm saying. And then one of them can escape the cage. I mean, if the objective for the cage match is to escape the cage. It's not supposed to be any pinfalls in the in the cage match. It's not supposed to be any pinfalls, no submissions, no nothing. It's supposed to escape the cage. Pinfalls and submissions should only be the elimination chamber and the hell in the cell match. I don't think man, they just fucked up the steel cage match nowadays, man. Nobody really escapes the cage anymore. I think the most recent escapee of the cage, you know. Really escaping the cage and go over the top and not through the door like a little bitch. It's Dolph Ziggler. It's uh that was the most recent. That was like a month ago on SmackDown, and I didn't even watch SmackDown. I just watched that match, but still, that was a pretty good match though. You know, Kane actually did, Kane actually put up a good match with Ziggler. Anyway, after that match, you got the immunity battle royal. Now the objective. You know, immunity battle royal is the winner of the immunity battle royal will be immune to being fired. Meaning, the person that wins that battle royal will be unable to be fired for a whole year. Can't be fired for a whole year. Be fine, but it can't be fired. Pretty much do whatever you want. Kind of like an ironclad contract. Yeah. Um, but before the match even happens, he and Scott is around to walk, walk from that stage and test walks past him. And that's him. That's him. Wasn't in the immunity battle royal. Scott Jr. said, Yeah, I'm in the battle royal. What's it to? The Texas beat the shit out of Scott Jr. and said, Not anymore, you're not. He puts himself into the, into the match. And won the match. Um, not much. I gave this two stars because of the end. Uh, the last two people in the match were Test and Billy Gunn. Rest in peace to Test, by the way. Test and Billy Gunn were the last two in the ring. Billy Gunn almost had to up a home. Went for the uh, famous one. Ran to the ropes and Test just kicked the shit out of him. Eliminated <laughs> Billy Gunn and went in the immunity battle royal. Yeah, two stars for that. Next, you got the women's championship match. You got Trish versus Jackie. Versus Jazz versus Molly versus Sasha versus Lita. Trish wins with the Stratisfaction, three stars. Now there's a lot of back and forth action. Pretty good divas match. You know, divas matches back in the day were better than they are nowadays. You know. Nowadays, the divas division is pretty much fucking dead. The only person that's really saving the divas division is AJ and Paige, and that's about it. Everybody else is just shit. They fucked up when Emma when she debuted, teaming her up with Santino, turned her into a complete joke. Um, who else they fucked up? I think they fucked up with pretty much every single dude. I mean, Divas just getting handed title shots. This fucking fucking earn a title shot. It ain't just for the, it ain't just the Divas that's getting handed title shots. It's actually the whole fucking main roster. Everybody's just getting handed title shots. You're supposed to earn the motherfuckers. Like back in the day, you earned a title shot. You know? Nowadays, you just getting handed title shots. Sit there and earn a fucking title shot. He got handed the damn title shot. He lost to Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. He invoked his rematch clause at uh, Night of Champions. That's supposed to be it. But they gave him another fucking title shot just because Seth Rollins screwed him out of the championship. So fucking what? That should have been it. We need a new number one contender. The real number one contender is supposed to be Big Show, but why the hell is Cena still the number one contender, man? Some bullshit. And now we're going to have Cena versus Brock. 
four. No, it was five. Yeah, I won the backlash two thousand three, Summer two thousand twelve, Summer Slam two thousand fourteen, Mad Champion two thousand fourteen, and I was gonna be the Royal Rumble two thousand fifteen. I can see enough. I can see Cena win too, becoming a sixteen time champion. I do not want that to happen. Cause that'll make Ric Flair look Yeah. Do you know how how that'll make Ric Flair look? It'll make Ric Flair's sixteen time championship reign look like a piece of dog shit. Fuck Cena. Let's get back to the review. I just went off topic. Let's get back to the review. Next we got the main event. Winner takes on Traditional Survivor Series Elimination Tag Match. Now, Team WWF versus Team Alliance. Now, Team WWF, you got The Rock as the team captain. You got Chris Jericho. You got Kane. You got The Undertaker. You got The Big Show. Now, team Alliance, you got Stone Cold as the team captain. You got Shane McMahon. You got Booker T. You got Kurt Angle. You got RVD. The winner of the match, Team WWF. I give this four and a half stars. Now, I love the end of uh, Kurt Angle, he turned face. I mean, he was a heel from his debut, you know, in two, in, what was his debut, 2000? Yeah, from his debut in 2000 to Survivor Series 2001. He actually teased the face turn. He didn't actually turn the face until the next night on Raw. And he cut that face promo, solidifying his face turn. Now, Survivor Series 2001, picked up the WWF Championship belt from outside the ring. Put Stone Cold on the side of the head with it. Caused the rock to hit Stone Cold to rock bottom. Which caused the one, two, three. Which caused WWF to win. Putting the alliance out of business. It was a great match. Great match. Great pop for Angle. It was a little teased face turn. Great pop for rock bottom. And great pop for the one, two, three. Overall, great show. Uh, I'm going to give this... Nine out of ten. Yeah, we give this a nine out of ten. That being said, leave a like, leave a comment at me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and add me on uh, Instagram. I finally got back on Instagram. Got one K already. Uh, add me back on. Add me on Instagram. Uh, follow me on Instagram. So same with my Twitter at DJ Hanover. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Peace.